Okay, so this is just um, a bit of an instructional video or a tips video really for the Y61 uh, Chrome Molly stub axles from Synchro Gearboxes. Um, it's not a fitting video, I won't show you how to do it. If you do need a fitting video, then you probably shouldn't be doing the job. Um, so I pass it on to somebody who knows how to do it. Um, in terms of fitting, they should be fit to um, Nissan specs with respects of actually a um, fitting the stub to the axle uh, and then also preloading the wheel bearing. <clears throat> so there are um, some fitting differences um, which I'm just going to talk about uh, but I'm going to explain actually what you get in the kit first. So you've got two stub axles, um, you have the nut or the lock nut, lock tabs, washers and bearings, obviously one per stub. Um, and they go in the orientation of obviously, obviously you assemble the wheel bearing, the uh, outer wheel bearing goes on first, the washer goes on behind it, then the lock tab, uh, and then obviously the nut, and preload those two um, Nissan specs. Um, the bearing, the lock tab, and the lock nut are standard off the shelf parts that you'll get from any bearing supplier. Um, in the world really um, and they're, they're not a custom thing so um, with respect to the nut if you've never seen a KM9 nut before um, it's shaped like that and the the inner side as in the side that will go on to the stub like that um, is, is the chamfered side so the text side is facing out um, so that's one thing to look for um, the other sort of assembly tip really is when you fit the, the lock tab um, it, it's probably worth at the minute they're a flat lock tab like that um, if you bend up the tabs like that it will make assembly just that little bit easier um, so otherwise it's pretty straightforward it goes in that orientation bearing washer tab nut um, and that's pretty much it we use Swepco 165 grease um, for assembly and uh, because it's pretty good grease when you come to do it set your wheel bearings take the vehicle for a run or um, cycle it on the axle stands and then check them again before going racing <laughs> 